Okay, up here, ladies and gentlemen, I have an inexpensive Gator case. I actually got this case for free when I got my Cannonball Vintage Reborn case because I was on ships at the time. I bought a new saxophone and I couldn't take one of these big cases and carry it around like that. So I had the guy keep that one and he just gave me this case for free. This is most definitely a case on a budget. So let me just show you real quick here how you got this hook. The only real issue I had with this case, ladies and gentlemen, is that the strap that you would use to carry it wasn't long enough. So you may want to, depending on what size person you are, invest in just getting a longer strap so that way it's comfortable when you carry it. But we have the handles that come together here. We got this uh, storage unit that's up here. Let me open this thing up. On the back here, when you stand this up, you can see how small these stops are for holding the saxophone up open this thing up and it's got that nice little fluffy thing inside that we like you can fit a couple of necks here the saxophone goes right here but this is slim down it's solid it's got this kind of soft plushy interior but it is a hard case you can see we have less strap hooks here there's one here and then there's another one here Another cost cutting thing. Uh, these are going for a very attractive price on Amazon. I will post a link there. By the way, I do have an affiliate link with Amazon. So here's <laughs> the flute. This is like an old student flute. You can see how that easily fits in there. Let me just do that for you. This is not my main flute, but as you can see, you can fit this inside and you still have a lot of room left over. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so up top here, I have my soprano case. This is for my Allura professional soprano, the straight one. I got this maybe five years ago, I think. Yeah, it's been about five years. All right, let's take a look at this thing. So up here, this top pouch is really good. You have a good enough amount of room to put stuff in. I can't put a flute up here, but you could put a piccolo up here. Let's open this thing up and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so this top part up here, this is a nice kind of plush. And here also, right down here, this is where the soprano goes. We got the little spot for two necks. I don't really use the curved neck very much. I might just start using it. And over here, we can put mouthpieces and neck straps, as you can see. Depending on what kind of neck strap you have, you might want to use the upper one if you have one of the larger neck straps. This is a really nice case. We have some hooks here that we can use for an extended strap. Let me turn this over. And as you can see, I got backpack straps here. We can see over here, we have hooks that we could use for an extended strap. I like that this has so many extra hooks on it because even if you don't want to use the back strap pa packs or anything that's provided with it, you can use whatever else you want. Got the handle here. I can either lay this down or I can stand it up. You can see we got these nubs on the side for that. Okay, I might reach out to the Allura company to see about demoing some horns. Here I have my cannonball. It's like a snake skin design type of case here. Oh man, I think I've had this thing for around 15 years. I no longer have my cannonball alto sax. I wound up selling that when I got screwed over by the cruise line. <laughs> I wound up selling a different case with it along with a piccolo that I had. As you can see up here, we got room for a neck. This cannonball instrument did come with two necks. Got the pouch here. This is like a fluffy type of thing going on. Fits in the case really well. Nothing really that spectacular about it. So when you work on cruise ships, ladies and gentlemen, um, my advice to you, especially if you're playing alto, is to get one of the separate type of smaller cases because you can put that in the upper head bin um here you can see there's some damage this got done in an airport because they just they don't care man so just keep that in mind when you're thinking about getting a case and how you want to travel with it so it has this cannonball emblem that's here it's a nice solid standard case that uh came with cannonball alto saxophones i don't know what they're doing now as far as their like big bell saxophones speaking of cannonball ladies and gentlemen i have a tenor cannonball case beneath it let's take a look at that okay ladies and gentlemen this beautiful tan thing right here this is my lady godiva cannonball tenor sax case i no longer have the lady godiva i want to buy another one but a silver plated one 
Um, I wound up selling that instrument quite some time ago. The thing is, the vintage Reborn sax that I have now doesn't fit properly in this case. This is a very nice case, though. So let's open this thing up and see what we got. Got this nice purple. Oh, here it is. Man, I was looking for this thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, at any rate, you can see it's got that nice kind of vintage Selmer purple thing going on. Oh, this is very, oh, just, man, that's nice. I still got the old bag for that. Still got the old cannonball stuff. Still got the don't eat bags. But again, as you can see, um, it's just your regular standard run-of-the-mill saxophone case. Got your mouthpiece pouch here. I didn't show you the little mouthpiece pouch that was on the other cases, but they have them. And you have a separate thing here for the neck. The Lady Godiva. I can't remember if that came with two necks or not. I think it's just the Big Bell cannonball saxes that come with two necks. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I do have merchandise. You can pick this up on Amazon. This one isn't mine personally, but I'll put a link in the description under the Amazon section for this. I love this thing. It's just a really nice <laughs> saxophone mug here. Then I have my own personalized stuff. That'll be through my Teespring link. And then I have the other one here. I have been going pretty crazy um, updating my page with more merchandise with shirts and uh, mugs and stuff like that. So uh, the links will be in the description where you can check out that stuff. And of course, I have my Altissimo book for alto and tenor available as a digital purchase. I want to show you guys this thing also. I picked up this light here, oscillating saxophone light. This thing is very cool. If you pick up one of these, you got to like hold the on button and then it'll go into oscillation mode. Otherwise, it'll just stay one color. OK, let's get back to some cases. So here, ladies and gentlemen, I have my Selmer Super Action 80 Series 2 saxophone case. This is from 1995. So it has this nice leather that goes over the actual case itself. This is still a fantastic case. I do not know how much Selmer actually changed the Super Action 80 Series 2 tenor. But out of all the tenors that I've ever had, that one was absolutely by far my least favorite. I would love to be able to play one again just to see if I have the same issues, if it wasn't just me being me. And you know what? Something is in here. Let's see what's in here. Incredible Hawk comic book. <laughs> Issue 428. Well, that's from a while ago. Something else is in here. Wow. The old Downbeat magazine from 1995. This thing has probably been in there since 1995 with Miles Davis. Okay, so let's take a look at this case. Okay, this case is still in really good shape. And this is the one that had the keys. I have no idea where those keys would actually be. I thought they would be in this case. But at any rate, I might get around to selling something like this. If you have, or at least if you're looking for, a Super Action 80 Series 2 case. You can see the Selma right here. Wow, it's still got the indentation of the tenor that I used to have. I wound up selling that tenor for a clarinet and another tenor like two days before I first came out on cruise ships because I didn't have a clarinet or a tuxedo. So I wound up trading that thing and wound up getting a clarinet and that old Martin that you see me playing in the video where I have my shirt off. Okay. Wow, this is uh, like hard here. This is not as nice as the cannonball case, but very straightforward. You got your spot for a neck here. It's not contoured though. And here's your accessories section here. Okay. I'm really impressed how well these hooks still close. Usually when these get old, they don't like hook and close, right? But this thing is like, it's just like new. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So right here, I have my ProTech. It does say ProTech right here. This is the ProTech Pro Pack. I absolutely love this green color. It's like a military type of green. Um, it looks really nice against this orange. I think that's a nice uh, a nice touch there. This is my main tenor sax case. You can see I got all my stuff in here still. But um, this does not fit 
a flute. I can't carry my flute in this case. That's one of the things that I, in fact, that's kind of the only thing that I don't like about it. That along with the strap that it comes with. I mean, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but I am a little wide, but it, it does need to come with a longer strap. Um, this Velcro's shut here. Let's open this thing up. It doesn't have that plushy type of inside, but it is a nice soft touch feel to it on the inside. Oh, some cork grease. I was looking for that. Show you what that looks like. Got a little section here for the neck, section here for the mouthpiece. I like that it has this extra padded area right here. One of the things about these cases when you get different horns and you put them in, it can tend to move around and cause some damage to the uh, to the octave mechanism. But having this little plush thing here helps a lot. It's a very nice case. We have this other side pouch here. You can see how small that is relative to the other ones and why I can't put a flute in here. But I really do like this color. You got another uh, strap holder thing here. And you can see how much wider are these little posts are to stand the saxophone up. This is for this alto sax that I just got. I just got the Allura 580 Professional Saxophone. See, we got these hooks here. You can see this plastic. This comes off. I just haven't peeled it off yet. So I don't think it just looks like this. It's very smooth. It's not the plushy thing. This comes out. And you can store mouthpieces and necks in here. And then that fits in here. I'm going to do a review of this mouthpiece that came with it. I haven't been able to do that yet, but that's coming soon. Cork that came with it. I just left all of that in there. I don't know if they sell this separately, but you can uh, strap this back up and then it just fits actually inside the case. When I first got this horn, I thought they forgot to give me a neck and a mouthpiece. On the outside, you got your Allura insignia there. Comes with your backpack straps. I really like these hooks that they have here. Got your little stopper here if you're laying the saxophone down. They even have some little stoppers on the back here. But what it doesn't have are the ones on the bottom been nice to have those on the bottom but this is definitely a hard case so there you go I don't know if Alora sells this case separately or not so I'm still working on my uh, book for saxophone sound development I am throwing everything I have ever learned any question anyone has ever asked me about saxophone sound into that one book and uh, I'm anticipating that that'll be finished in uh, the next coming weeks so uh, I'll be sure to tell everybody about it, of course, and then that will be available for purchase. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you. See you!